The first thing, though, uh, that we have to do is to get our perspectives with some background about the basic ideas which, as Westerners living today in the United States, influence our everyday common sense, our fundamental notions about what life is about. The times that I'm not myself, or you're not yourself, or anyone's not their self, who are they? I often talk about be yourself, be yourself, be true, do you. But the times that you're not you, who are you? I don't know. Does even such a question make sense? such a proposition well if, I, if I'm not myself today then I must be somebody else or are are you yourself right now no matter what the case is no matter if you're pretending no matter if you're doing something you don't want to be doing no matter I don't know it's just that I have to keep my mind plastic now when I use this word plastic I mean plasticity flexible open malleable This is why I pose this question to myself. If I'm not myself today, then who am I? It got me thinking about this word game. Game, this word game, we have often placed a positive connotation with this word game, as in fun, excitement, uh, you know, getting out there, doing something. There's a positive connotation with it, but this word game, which comes from the word gammon, really just means one thing, participation. That's all this word means, participation. So many games we're in. We are in these games of financial games, you know, we hear about the rat race, trying to get out of this game where, you know, I don't want to work for somebody, I don't want to have to spend the rest of my life working nine to five. Oh my God, I'm stuck, I'm miserable, I'm unhappy, this sucks. There's that game. Then there's the game of I gotta get rich, I gotta have a car, I gotta have a house, I gotta have friends. That's another game. And then to go back more into the friends game, you know, popularity, I gotta be cool, I gotta be esteemed, I gotta be on top, I gotta go out every night, that's another game. Now, Game, like I said, only means participation. We're participating in these things. All games have zero sum, which means that one person's gonna win, one person's gonna lose. One, zero. Anytime there's a dichotomy, zero sum, anytime there's a game, there's going to be stress, there's going to be opposition, and there's not going to be harmony to use a sort of biological metaphor, we could talk about the body for a second. Inside the body, we have basically uh, two situations. We have a situation of your body being alkaline, where you know your cells are functioning properly, they could breathe, they could open, they could communicate, they could eradicate disease, or you could be acidic. And when you're acidic, you know, cancer proliferates, uh, your cells literally can't breathe, your blood, is abnormal, you get all sorts of diseases and bad things happen. Being acidic is the basis of all disease in the body. Okay? But when there's harmony, there's absolutely no opposition of your, your alkaline and your uh, acid. There's no fight anymore. It's just, there's no more game. There's no more fight. There's no more win. Is acid gonna beat the alkaline? Is alkaline gonna beat the acid? There's absolutely no more fighting. I look at that and I see life situation as well. Stress, stress is here in waking life, stress. It comes from this oppositional force. It comes from being in this game and then, okay, all of a sudden you wake up and you're like, damn, I wanna get out of this game. You read New Age, you read philosophy, you read Eastern philosophy, you study Buddhism, Zen, you know, you study uh, Hinduism, you study all these speakers on YouTube these so-called so enlightened speakers and now you say damn I gotta get out of this game now shit I gotta be enlightened and then begins a whole series of a whole nother slew of 
steps in this game to get out of the game that you're in. So you're, it's like you're washing blood off with blood. What am I getting at here? What am I trying to explain and express here? Which is very hard. That's only a feeling that I have that I'm trying to translate into words, which really words will not suffice. What I'm saying is, on a large scale, these games that we play have been designed to benefit the people who created the games. You know, we have these financial games, which is the stress of a lot, the root cause of a lot of our, our stress and problems, you know? These people out there, they have this game where, you know, you gotta work hard, work for them, make them rich. Then they throw you some bones and they say, okay, here's a credit card, here's a mortgage. And of course they want you to default on the credit cards. Of course they want you to refinance your mortgages because that just makes, makes them more points, that makes them more money in the game. These games have been brilliantly constructed. These games are clever. They get you in them and then they want you to try to fight your way out of them because your mobility trying to claw your way out of them denotes that you continue to play the game. So you're playing the game with them when you get the credit card, you know, you're like, yeah, I got the credit card, I got the money, I go out to the bar, I buy the car. But then you're like, damn, I have all this debt. Oh man, so let me get out of this game. So how do I get out of the game? Refinance. How do I get out of the game? Get more credit cards to pay off credit cards. You're washing blood off with blood. And they know that. <laughs> and this is what everyone's trying to, trying to perpetuate. These games we play are so cleverly, brilliantly prescribed to us that we don't even know that we're in them. And then when we try to get out of them, it still benefits the people. Don't, don't you see the, the ratio is totally to their benefit? So what's the solution? Don't get credit cards, don't get a house, don't try to be successful financially, no. Do those things. But, gotta be smarter than these people you gotta develop discipline and sacrifice otherwise you're just a sitting duck otherwise you will be continually controlled and manipulated now I'm not going off into some revolutionary you know take down capitalism you know I'm not playing with that that's just playing the game still that's why I'm not against those things. I'm not against capitalism. I'm not against making money. I'm not against striving to get up to the high corporate ladder. That's okay. But the second you say to yourself, I'm in this game. Now I gotta get out of this game by playing the game. You're in trouble. I like this word, okay. Okay? <laughs> So you're in the game and you say, damn, I see what's going on. I see what they're trying to do. I see that they want me to go work at this place that I don't want to work at. Or they see that I see that they want me to go get these credit cards that I know that I can't afford to pay. I see that they want me, my parents or my friends or my preachers, they want me to go in this direction. But I know in my heart that if I go in that direction, it's going to lead to destruction. It's going to lead to demise. It's going to lead to, gr to grief. So if you could see what they're trying to do, you could say to yourself, okay, I see what they're trying to do. I, I, I understand, you know, what's going on. Maybe they're not even doing it to hurt me. They're just doing it because that's all they know. I see the situation. I see the credit card bills piling up. If I go in that direction, I see, you know, getting some sorts of disease if I keep on eating meat. But keep on eating steaks all day. I see it. I see what's going on. The only way you could see what's going on is through clearing out your mind, clearing out your heart, clearing out your spirit, and remaining vigilant, remaining constantly without ever letting up, constantly aware. I mean, there's no other way. I, I, 
if you're not meditating, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not eating right, if you're not studying, if you're not elevating yourself in every aspect of that self, every aspect of you, which is all one, if you're not improving that and taking care of it, then you will forever be in these games where you will be manipulated financially, emotionally, intellectually, biologically, on every single front you will be taken advantage of. There are people out there that are scheming, don't you see? There are people out there that are sitting down, coming up with plans to control you, to get your money, to help you default on your loans, to help you refinance, to help you get sick and die so they can sell you more pharmaceutical pills. Don't you see the game? But yet everyone's all like, ah, life, it's okay. You know, it's all about life, have fun. Forget about all that, forget about all that. You know, have fun. <laughs> you know, just make money, have fun, forget about all, I don't need to meditate. You know, I'm not from the, the, the East, why should I meditate? which is the most ignorant statement I've ever heard. Or, uh, you know, why should I try to get out of this credit card debt? Who cares? Money doesn't exist anyway. <laughs> you know, let's go to the bar, let's just party. And I can see how that's an attractive sort of thought. But don't you see that that's what they want? They throw you the bones so you continue to feel. They give you just enough wiggle room so you could continue to carry out their games and you know when you go home and when you could pretend to be all yeah 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 i'm free i'm free and then when you go to sleep when you're in your bed and you're alone you know you say to yourself damn something's not right man damn i gotta work i gotta go to this job that i hate i gotta pay all these bills i'm sick i can't even afford my payments but it's the weekend, yeah, it's the weekend, it's the weekend of my friends, yeah, I'm gonna get drunk, oh yeah. And then again, when you go to sleep, it's like, God, man, something's not, I, I just don't feel right. You know, man, all the bills and the people who want me to do things, I just don't feel free. I feel sad, whatever. Whatever, it's Friday, it's Friday, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't you see, you're not free. You're not free with this sort of situation, with this sort of zero sum, you know? You're not free in any single game, you're not free. The only way to free yourself is to be free, to see what's going on, and then just to dissolve it. Okay, play your game. Okay, have your war. Okay, build your pharmaceutical company. Okay. Uh, you know, try to have me refinance. Okay, 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 okay. You guys could go do all that. You have the right to do all that. You have the right to kill yourself. But I'm free, man. I'm okay. And I'll bless you. And I'll bless you. I'll pray for you. I'll take care of you. I'll try to send you positive vibes. But I'm living my life. And I'm, you know, I'm, I just gotta, I have to remain free. How, why would I want to be an animal in a cage? It doesn't make sense. That's not my function. It's no one's function to be an animal locked up in a cage. To serve you. To make you rich. F to allow you to give me pills that I know will kill me. While you're rich. And while you're doing whatever you want to do. <laughs> I'm just not that dumb. <laughs>